Welcome back to the channel. Today was such a beautiful day, Sunday. Thought I'd get out and go for a ride. Supposed to be at a soccer tournament all weekend, but things didn't go the way we had planned. So I have Sunday afternoon off. So since our Sunday afternoon plans were canceled, Thought I'd go for a ride down to National City. If you're familiar with San Diego, you might think that the ride down to National City is a fairly easy one. However, the reality is this trip probably by distance is uh, even further than the trip we did out the crest. So our path today will take us from San Carlos into La Mesa through Lemon Grove, take Valencia Parkway through Lincoln Heights and then into National City. Got a plan to go and check out some historic houses. A couple I think you guys may know about, and a couple you probably don't. Guys, if you want to go to the naval base, just keep going straight, which is what I used to do. Now we're going to go left and into National City. I think this block, this general area is pretty well known as a historic area. In fact, this uh, row of houses here, this row of this building, I think it's called Brick Row. And of course these houses over here, one of them is the Kimball House, I believe. Yeah, the Frank Kimball Museum. Yeah, let's park it and walk around here a little bit. Between us now, it's just like miles. And I've only ever fit inside the shadows. 
But I'm here I'm This is the Eliezer Steel Crandall Innes House, 1879. I'm going to read the placard for you. <laughs> this is a Queen Anne style home and was uh, one of the first three homes to be built in National City by Eliezer Steel. Of course, this house is a museum, Frank Kimball Museum. So we just missed it. Apparently they're open for visitors on Saturdays and Sundays, 11 to 1 p.m. And his home included a bathtub as well as hot running water, making it the first modern house in the entire county of San Diego. Those are the ones that I was pretty sure you guys knew about. The two I'm going to go check out now, however, are not well advertised and little known, I think. I think there was an attempt to turn one of them into a bit of a museum and sort of a visitor center at some point. Okay, so as mentioned, these are the ones I'm pretty sure. If you look up National City or if you've spent a large amount of time or in San Diego and look for historic sites, probably knew of these, or this area and these houses. The house I want to take you guys to next, two houses actually, I only know the name of one of them. I think they're related, same, similarly, uh, they were built by the same family, I think two brothers. Uh, the house I want to go to is called the Dickinson Bowl House, and Bowl spelled B-O-A-L. I'm not sure, bowl or boil, 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 I don't know. One of them may have been on the list of historic, you know, houses here and was on maybe a walking tour or a virtual tour, but I think has since uh, moved into being a private resident. And I think the first owners of the private residence at one point may have had it open to the public on weekends or something like that, but I think not anymore, uh, I don't know because of COVID maybe, or maybe even prior to. Similar to the brick row back there, which I didn't know until getting here. I didn't realize that that was a private residence as well. So you're trying to be, you know, respectful to the people that live there as well. But it is a historic site. So it's hopefully somewhat to be expected if you're living across the street from a museum in a hundred year old house, or soon to be a hundred year old house. Okay, I've never actually been here before. The Veterans Memorial Amphitheater. New discovery, guys. This is like the City Hall Public Library 
uh, part of National City as well, so. Worth a look, I think. The building on the left is the National City Public Library and the building we went behind the back of here and now gonna cruise through the front is the City Hall. Go back up the hill here and check out that uh, amphitheater, kind of a veterans memorial slash amphitheater. Thought that was neat. All right, so I played around with this idea <laughs> of, I know I shouldn't ride my scooter through here, but what if I push it? That way I don't have to take the camera off every time, but I'm also not riding a motor vehicle on sidewalks. I'm gonna definitely want to experiment with this technique a bit more on the little scooter than on the big one. Need one of those. seeing them yet? This one is the Dickinson Bull House. I think. Don't quote me on that. Pretty cool though, huh? side though there used to be an old uh okay so this is Horton this is the DK Horton house 1895 sign on the side says there and there used to be like an old model T or a model A parked out front which I thought was really cool
gates open and I see a table inside. I don't think it's a private residence. because I don't know whether I'm supposed to be in here or not. Okay, well, yeah, there's placards here. Okay. A home with history, Oliver H. Noyes, 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 N-O-Y-E-S, National City Postmaster and retired senator from New Hampshire. Built this Victorian house for his family in 1896. They sold it in 1947 to the Newland family, who sold it to John and Christy Walton in 1885. parking spaces in here okay I feel better <laughs> you feel better when you see a parking space you go okay yeah vehicles are allowed in here hi I'm not trespassing am I You're fine. You're fine. okay can I talk to you for five minutes huh? can I talk to you for five minutes yeah. I'm making a YouTube video oh, is that okay yeah. and so what's the name of this property Olivewood Gardens and Learning Center and we are a nonprofit here in National City. We do food and environmental education, access and advocacy work. And the house is how old? It was built in 1896 by the Noyes family. Noyes, because I said Noyes or something. I didn't know what I was saying. Who knows? I say Noyes, but it could be Noyes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we got about eight acres here, and we grow food that we distribute, um, we use for nutrition and cooking programs, we share it through a donation-based produce stand uh, to the local school district, and then we also get placed in other stores in National City. And some of the events you're holding, I mean, there's a beautiful site, so I'm guessing like weddings and quinceañeras and things like that? We do not do weddings, actually. <laughs> We just don't have the capacity okay. uh, to manage that, but we do, you know, we, we rent out the facility for different things. Last night we had our big fundraiser at the Seedling Soiree, okay. uh, so that's why we're, you, you just missed the rental company, which uh, came and picked up most of it. Had all the good yeah. jump houses, I'm sure? No, mm, <laughs> no yeah. jump houses? Okay. <laughs> Not this time. Okay, maybe next time. And so back in the history of this area, I guess this property with the Horton House and the Bull House and probably the park down below was all part of the same community and had the same land and probably one person owned a good portion. You said this was eight acres, so I'm guessing it was part of that? Uh, so, I mean, I know some of the history, but not all of it, but this area is called Olivewood Terrace. Okay. And so this was agricultural land. Okay. So olives and something else, I can't remember, but a lot of olives. <laughs> <laughs> probably some citrus. So, yes, yeah, citrus probably. So there's, you know, a lot of olive trees kind of around here. Um, this used to be a few different lots, okay. uh, but we've kind of got, got a few pieces. There used to be a carriage house over here. Um, and now, now it's, it's but yeah, National City has one of the highest concentrations of um, Victorian homes in yeah. Sydney. I did not know that. I knew that there were a few, but I didn't know it was such a high concentration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we have like 700 really? or something. Yeah. You can see it and feel the history when you ride through, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. You kind of wander in. No harm, just I'm curious and I just like riding around and talking about San Diego if, if I can. Are you in National City here? I live in San Carlos. Oh, oh okay, so you're taking a Quite a ride. Trip. It's a yeah. bit of a ride, it's a bit of a ride. I do it for my YouTube channel. Nice. Yeah. Okay, what's your chance? Pushing frames? Pushing frames. Yeah. Your name? Claire. Claire. And you are? Will. Will. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Darling Kitchen? Julie Darling, she was one of uh, an early volunteer from back when we were founded and, and, and at the 2010, 2012, okay. 
she kind of helped to launch our kitchen program. Let's find something new, me and you. All right, guys, well, I hope, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. That was really fun and a surprise, complete surprise. Um, did not expect to see that, did not know that that existed. How cool. All right, let's see where we come out here, 28th Street, somewhere around in there, 30th. Just like that, we're back in the city. <laughs> it's silhouetted, so you guys may not be able to read it, but that sign says, Cyclist Dismount. Scooter is too. Let's walk it across. I'm not gonna lie, it helped a lot that that was downhill the whole way. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, smash the like button. Subscribe so you'll know, be notified when the next video comes out. We're gonna end it here. Unless something really interesting happens on the ride home, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.